Hello and welcome to another edition of Pay Dirt Remote. I'm Dominic Piper. Today I'm joined by XR Resources Managing Director, Justin Tremaine. Justin, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Tommy. Not a problem at all, and thanks, uh, thanks for your time today. Now, Justin, uh, you've released, you've just released a maiden resource for your Bago project in Cote d'Ivoire, West Africa, just earlier in May. Uh, were the numbers in line with expectations? Yeah, I think so. Um, our share prices performed well subsequently, so maybe we um, exceeded expectation. The substantial resource, it's very much an interim position for us and we're obviously looking to continue to grow the resource. Uh, the resource was only off really just a little more than 12 months of work that we've done on the project since we acquired it, but only included drilling up until February of this year. We've done additional dr drilling subsequent to that sitting outside the resource, which um, results demonstrate that this resource is very much an interim resource and, and will continue to grow. And I see that both Antoinette and Veronique, the main, the main deposits have, remain open in all directions. Yeah, that's right. So we, we have been able to define these ounces uh, relatively efficiently at under $10 an ounce, and that's because they're shallow ounces uh, predominantly. We had uh, around 90% of the ounces sitting in the top 150 metres. Um, it has been well drilled, though, on what we've put into the resource. So we've only included areas that we've drilled at Antoinette on uh, 50 metre spacing along strike and generally 20 to 30 metres down dip. But we've done some drilling, some step out drilling along strike, which are 100 metre step outs, and we're getting plus 50 gram metre intercepts, uh, which are not included in this resource and really demonstrate the immediate potential to grow along strike the Antoinette deposit, which makes up the bulk of the ounces in this maiden resource. And then we've done some uh, much wider step out uh, reconnaissance air core drilling directly along strike from the, uh, the southern edge of the current resource. We've got 12 metres at 3.9 grams per tonne from the surface. So it really demonstrates the, the potential to grow Antoinette in particular. You know, our view is we've drilled 1,000 metres of strike, which is in this resource, of um, four or five kilometres of prospective strikes. And then down at Veronique, where we've only uh, done 3,000 metres of RC drilling, so it's just really one phase, one month, and we've put a little resource around that sort of first phase of RC drilling. But once again, we've done step out drilling with, with the RC rig and we're getting, you know, six grams per tonne, uh, 100 metres of long strike from that resource. So that, that will definitely grow. And the uh, previous air core drilling that we've done at Veronique has defined, you know, multiple zones. So what's the plan from here then? You've got that maiden resource out now. Do you continue that step out drilling or do you look to tighten the resource up in the, in the main deposits? So our focus is very much on continuing to step out drilling on the uh, Antoinette deposit uh, in particular and really try and define and expand the, um, the strike of that deposit there and define additional shallow ounces at Antoinette. So that drilling is ongoing. We've got a rig there drilling now, a diamond rig, but then we'll have uh, an air core and RC rig drilling uh, uh, the step out holes and, and in filling really some of the previous step out work that we've done there over the next few months. Um, and also we've been for the first time really stepping out and, and starting to uh, test for the first time some other targets that are peripheral to the Antoinette uh, deposit, sit within a few kilometres. And do you expect then that you could produce another resource estimate before the end of the year? Yeah, obviously it's all driven by results and, and by the drill bit, but uh, that's our intention. Um, and we're well funded to continue to drill and, and hopefully to uh, deliver a, a second resource uh, you know, towards the end of the year. Is this maiden resource then, does this open the way up for any economic studies, scoping studies or pre-feasibility work? Really our focus is to um, is to, to grow the resource to, you know, well over a million ounces um, before we would really start to get stuck into um, economic studies on the development of the project. However, you know, we do feel as though the project area and our deposits and the um, resource that we've defined at the moment is reasonably strategic in the area. There's a, there's a couple of uh, operating uh, gold plants uh, within 50 kilometres, um, and both of those have reasonably limited mine lifes left on them. Um, so we do feel as though you know, that's a second option for us to consider, but certainly our priority is to, uh, you know, to try and go it alone and grow the resource to justify us going it alone. Have you had much corporate interest from the, from the bigger gold miners in the region in this story? So I think a lot of corporates are now looking to Cote d'Ivoire as a stable as a stable part of um, West Africa and probably the shining light in West Africa um, and great opportunities since then. It's got the same rocks, same geology, um, but just hasn't had the exploration focus. 
Um, so there's generally, I think, a lot of corporate interest across the country. And then the results that we've been generating over the last year and on Cities Made and Resource, I think, has just reinforced that. Of course, the, the project itself has already attracted some corporate interest. Your uh, 20% JV partner and the company you acquired the project from, Apollo Consolidated, has agreed to sell its 20% interest in the project to a private equity group, Ibera Capital. What's our Exo's position on that deal? Yeah, well, really our position is that we do have a preemptive over that stake. Uh, and that preemptive is a 30-day um, period before we have to you know, decide as to whether we exercise our preemptive um, or not. They're paying a reasonable amount for their 20%, is what they've agreed with Apollo, you know, on a C3 basis, a substantial premium to where our share price trades. So I think that's a... Uh, you know, a, a, a vote of confidence in the project and, and demonstrates, um, you know, the, the, the current share price of Exor is not fully valuing this, this project. Um, but really, yeah, we'll, we'll just consider our position over the 30 days. A lot can happen. We're, we're well funded. As I said, we've got over $12 million in the bank. So if we uh, make the decision to exercise the preemptive, we've got the funding to do that. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're very um, positive and confident of growing the resource and really, you know, our priority is to be putting money into the ground to grow the resource. That suggests that you've got uh, plenty of confidence in the jurisdiction itself. There's always questions about political stability uh, in West Africa. How are you finding operating in Cote d'Ivoire? I've um, you know, found it a uh, very uh, easy place to operate. The government is no question supportive of the mining and exploration industry. You've seen um, since we've been there, additional mines um, permitted and financed for other companies, which I think is a big uh, tick and, and really you know, is a tangible evidence of the support the government has for, for the industry. Justin, thanks very much for your time today. Good luck with the next phase of drilling out in, in Cote d'Ivoire and hopefully we see a, another resource in the not too distant future. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks again for your time, Dominique.